Hi, I'm Lou, and today we're going to talk about mini bike gearing. Mini bikes have four important characteristics horsepower, torque, speed, and gearing. Horsepower is the raw energy the motor brings to the bike, typically 6.5 horsepower in these big bikes and 3.5 in the little ones. Torque is the rotational force that the mini bike puts on the ground. This is what helps us take off, climb hills, and pop wheelies. These little mini bikes typically have 3.5 foot pounds of torque at the crankshaft, 26 foot pounds at the axle, which gives us 45 pounds of forward thrust. The bigger ones come stock with 8 foot pounds at the crankshaft, 80 foot pounds at the axle, and 100 pounds of forward thrust. Everyone understands speed and it's stock 20 miles per hour on both bikes. The engine produces horsepower and gearing determines how it's divided into speed and torque. It's a balanced give and take formula. If you get more speed, you get less torque. If you get more torque, you get less speed. If you want more of both, you need more horsepower, but today we're focused on gearing. Gearing is simply the number of motor rotations for each wheel rotation and can be found by counting sprocket teeth. These mini bikes have a 10 tooth sprocket up front and 75 in back. You take 75 divided by 10, which gives you a gearing of 7.5. These larger mini bikes come with a stock jack shaft, so we combine two numbers to get the final gearing. We have 10 teeth out of the crank and 20 into the jack shaft. Divide those for a gearing of two. We have 10 teeth out of the jack shaft and 50 teeth at the wheel. Divide those for a gearing of five. Two times five is a total gearing of 10. Let's take a look at a stock large mini bike like a Massimo or Coleman. They have 10x gearing giving them a top speed of 20 miles per hour and max 80 foot pounds of torque. We'll take a test run up this hill which includes a rise of about 6 feet. Now we'll do a top speed test on flat ground. So we got our 20 speed and our 80 torque gave us a nine second hill climb. Common modification is to remove the jack shaft so you have 10 teeth to 50 teeth for 5x gearing. Here's the hill with a straight chain. That was an absolute no-go and the clutch is smoking hot. Now I'm doing a top speed test downhill with the wind at my back and a running start. While we're running this test, I'll give you a link to the playlist of all my other mini bike videos. The straight chain gearing gave us a nice 40 speed, but the 40 torque gave us a pitiful start and zero hill climbing power. Finally, here's my favorite gearing solution, the torque converter. Like a jack shaft, there are two numbers you multiply together. Behind this pulley, there's a 10 tooth to a 50 tooth, so that's 5x. But up here, some real magic happens. These pulleys self-adjust to what you need. When you're first taking off or going up a hill, you get a 3x gear ratio combined with this 5 gives you a total of 15 very torquey takeoff. But at higher RPMs, there's a centrifugal force in this pulley that forces this part inward and this belt outward to make it a bigger pulley. This one is spring-loaded, so as this one gets bigger, this one gets smaller. It's easier to see with the motor running. At low speed, the front pulley is small and the back pulley is big, so you get hill climbing torque. At high speed, the front pulley is big and the back pulley is little, so you get a really fast ride. And they're somewhat adjustable. The spring is right there, and if you want more speed, you put it in this hole. If you want more torque, you put it in that hole. If you want in the middle, you put it right there. Here's the hill climb with the torque converter. And here's the top speed test. We 
We got better torque and speed than a jack shaft, but not quite as fast as a straight chain. And that's actually because our belt wasn't rising to the maximum level. It only gets up to here at 4300 RPM and we're governed to 3600. I'll do a future video on RPMs and general engine performance and I'll put a link to that over there, but right now we're sticking to gearing. We'll pull that back off and replace the 10 with an 11. This small change will give us 10% more speed and 10% less torque. Hill climbing torque test. Speed test. The torque converter and sprocket gave us 110 torque, improving our 9 second jack shaft hill climb down to 6 seconds. It then changed gearing to give us a top speed of 40, the same as a straight chain. If you have this mini bike, please consider joining this group. If you have any questions about any other mini bikes, please consider joining that group. Links to both in the description below. Thanks for watching.